So we back with another video. Season four, right around the corner. I will be streaming this week, hitting level 40 before season four drop. But today, we got y'all boys with a very special video. And it's only right that we keep coming at y'all boys with the ranking build series that y'all love so much. And today, we're going to be doing the shooting guard builds. Now, for the shooting guard builds, I want to go ahead and specify what this is going to be going over. It's going to be kind of big guards, but it's going to be like a versatile big guard. Not the most versatile builds in the game. I'm going to say that kind of for like the small force. Because I feel like that's kind of what it is. But it's kind of to fit the big guard role, but also a versatile big guard. So, yeah. If you guys want more videos like this, all you got to do is like the video. I can give you all the small force, power force, centers. I got all different type of ranking build series I can do for y'all. Just let me know. Like the video. Without further ado, though. Without further ado, though. Let's hop into it. Alright, so when it comes to the big guards, we're going to have every single type of big guards you can possibly have in this video. Now, are we going for the exact best big guard builds possible? Kind of, but at the same time, we're trying to make them as versatile as possible. So, there may be some things that I would rather have on my big guards, but when it comes to making it versatile, I just had to make sure I had this, that, and the third. So, when it comes to all these builds, we're going to have not just the 6'5 and 6'9s, but we also going to have pretty much the tallest 6'4 and under build so that you can be able to have all the dribble moves in the game if you want to be able to make a really good shooting guard. So yeah, let's go ahead and hop into it. So first things first, like and subscribe. Hopefully you did that already. Subscribe, like, hopefully. But yeah, position gonna be a shooting guard. Hand and number is really up to you. When it comes to the build, we're gonna be six foot four, 179, and seven foot one wingspan. So six foot four, if you don't know, that's the tallest height you can be to have pretty much all the your move animations. Now, another thing that you're allowed to get at six foot four that you don't get on any of the other builds is going to be the Steph Curry jump shot. But on this exact build, you probably wouldn't be able to get it because we didn't go for like a crazy high three ball. We went for more of a versatile build. And you know to get Steph and Curry jump shot, you have to have a really, really high three point rating. Now, when it comes to the build, you're going to end up with 13, 18, 24, and 17. So I tried to make sure that you can be able to have all, like enough in all packages. So the highest tier that you will really need is 17 badges for, for finishing. So you will add the four there, and then you have 18, 24, and 17. And the highest you would need for defensive would be 17. But I don't think we're even going to be using the 17. We would probably go for one of the two silvers, core one, and put on the other. So yeah, try to make sure that you had all that. Now. For the basics of it, I just want to make sure you understand what we went for. So we went for a driving up, a three-point rating, a good ball handle, speed ball. I've run to have 92 speed ball, 92 ball handle. But if you know what I, why I be saying, the six ones, the six threes, the six twos even are really, really good because they kind of can allow you to have a lot more on your build. But yeah, it kind of just is what it is. And yeah, we went for it as high as possible as we could. Now, later on, what I like to go 92 speed ball so that when they do drop a crazy, crazy, crazy broken like dribble style, you'll be able to have that the rest of the year. But for this one, since we are going for more versatility, I just couldn't force the 92 speed ball and we just kept it at 88, which is going to be still really, really good. But yeah, so 86 driving nut that's going to allow you to have gold limits takeoff, silver, posterizer, silver literally finisher but also you're going to be able to have contact dunks with that with a 75 lead which is going to allow you to have a lot of other badges as well so that's going to be very important that's going to help you get 13 you get the plus four you're going to have 17 that's going to allow you to not have limitless then you will probably core that and put on like posterizer then when it comes to shooting you're going to end up with um 85 three ball that's going to allow you to have pretty much all these badges at least silver and then for the tier one tier two you can pretty much have majority of them gold or hall of fame the only one that you're not going to have gold or hall of fame is going to be mini magician which is really based off what else the mid range and then you have a 71 free throw to be able to play 5v5 75 pass accuracy that's pretty much the minimum i would really be able to go with on any guard build so i've tried to make sure all of them at least had a 75 so like i said having the versatility is very important for me for the shooting guards um and 92 ball handle, that's going to have you with all the drill moves in the game. The Steve Francis, which a lot of the builds on later, not going to be to have. Trey Young, which a lot of the builds later on the list, not going to be to have. With an 88 speed ball and 86 perimeter defense, 85 steal. Really good defense, but you really do want that interior defense to be able to like play hands up defense or a block rating, but it just kind of is what it is. Couldn't go for everything. It just was tough, which is why this is really on the lower end spectrum of the list. Then you have a 78 speed based off the speed of ball with a 91 acceleration, which is really good. It's going to be easily the highest on this list with a 36 strength, 75 vertical, and a 90 stamina. When it comes to the takeover, it's going to end up with slasher, sharp, playmaker, and lock. I'm going to go with limitless range and finishing moves. You could go with spotter precision if you feel like you can get an easy 
easier three if you feel like it's better for you do that by all means i'm gonna go with that as my takeovers and the build comes out as similar to shades of Kyle greer tyrese maxi and dejounte murray and the build comes out as a three-point shot creator all right so for the next build so we're gonna be back like and subscribe shooting guard position handing numbers up to you when it comes to the height, we're going to be six foot six. So now we're getting off of those six foot four and under builds because, yes, you do get a lot more animations, maybe even the best animations in the game. But being taller does have its perks when it comes to being able to allow you to have a lot more when it comes to attribute wise. But also when it just comes to being taller, it's just going to be a lot better for defense in general and other things like that. But yeah, we're going to be six six, one eighty eight, seven foot three wingspan by types up to you. When it comes to the build, you're going to end up with 15, 18, 24 and 14 now the way we went around this i tried to make sure every single build on the list you didn't have to do no finagling for the badges i tried to make sure that everything was perfect for y'all so pretty much if you want to be able to have limitless takeoff maybe you want to court maybe i said this on the last one but i'm gonna be honest limitless takeoff is one of the hardest badges in the game to core so what i would probably recommend is that you core posterizer and then use you put two badges extra so that you when you core posterize you can still use gold limitless takeoff so yeah that's probably what i would do and then when it comes to the defensive you would put you would pretty much add like two more badges so that you can use one of the silvers you're not going to pretty much be able to go for challenger so yeah you would have 16 and 17 finishing when you did that depending on how many seasons you hit level 39 before season three you would be able to have even more badges probably extra two more badges but i already i only hit it one time but for this season but yeah 85 three ball that's gonna like to have pretty much all these badges and tier three silver and then tier one and tier three more for the most part are gold hall of fame 70 mid range i tried to put 71 you wouldn't get an extra badge so i just left it at where it was and then 70 free throw to play 5v5 then when it comes to the pass accuracy again that's gonna be a 75 very very similar to the last one 92 ball handle very very similar to the last one 88 speed ball very very similar to the last one 86 pyramid defense 85 steel 43 defensive rebound um, pretty much a lot of this stuff top to bottom is very similar the only big difference is, is that you're gonna have a higher close shot a higher driving layup pretty much the same driving dunk when it comes to the free throw that may be a little bit lower but for the most part everything is very very similar to the last build now i'm pretty sure you could lower this but like you're not getting too much regardless out of that so i'll probably put it there it's not gonna make a big difference there though so you probably would want to go free throw or stamina whichever one you feel like you need the most i'll probably go a mixture of both and yep yeah. but honestly it's very very similar the only things that's really making or breaking the build for me is i like the jump shots more six for five to six nine if you want those steve francis um trey youngs you can go for those i feel like it's a little bit of a tie because where you get probably less badges on the other one for, for the finishing you get more on this one but you get less badges on the defensive but you still would be able to have enough at the end goal regardless so at the at that point it really determines what you rather do you rather be taller for the defense or do you rather be shorter and be able to have like more animations and even maybe better animations so that's really on you i like to jump shots more on a 6 5 to 6 9 let me say that again but the dribble animations i do think are definitely a determining factor in how good the builds can be and i think the 6 4 and under do have probably better dribble animations it's just that simple but yeah um printed defense 86 85 steel when it comes to the acceleration 89 88, 78 speed 75 vertical for content dunks and then 92 stamina so top to bottom pretty much extremely similar you're not even going to have the same acceleration but that's only a real two difference so it's really determining what you rather jump shots or dribble animations now takeaways wise slasher sharp playmaker or lot take i'm gonna go with limitless range to finish your moves pretty much every single time that's just gonna be automatic for me you can go what you gonna go that's for me just that simple and the build comes out as similar to shades of hersey hawkins dejounte murray spencer dinwiddie who i really never see and it comes out as what else a three-point playmaker or not playmaker but shot creator my bad but if it, it would have been a playmaker if you had 86 plus ball like pass accuracy but it comes out as a three-point shot creator so i was checking my analytics even with 100k we still have 80 percent of you guys not subscribed I don't know what else I got to do. Now, if you guys want to get more in touch with me, you can join the Discord. But how you watching my videos and not subscribe? Subscribe! 
It's that simple. All right, so I'm gonna be honest. One reason why I was really excited to make this video is because we have kind of changed the hierarchies. We kind of changed the power rankings. We kind of changed what is really the best builds in the game. And the top three, still the top three, but the order is kind of different now. So yeah, like and subscribe, shoot and guard. Hand number is really up to you. Hype for the third place. This is probably the first time the whole year that this build will come this low in the rankings for a guard build, but it's, it is it is what it is, 6-8. I probably will be doing a build wars with this build in the number two very soon. Y'all seem to like that 6-9 versus 6-7, so I probably will do a build wars with this height and another build that's going to be coming in, in the top two slots very soon. But yeah, 6-8, 186, 7 foot 5 wingspan, body type is up to you. So when it comes to the build, you're going to end up with 14 finishing, 19 def shooting, 22 playmaking, and 20 one defensive now for the 14 finishing you're gonna have to add more badges you're gonna need three more to be exact so that's gonna be a thing but pretty much everything else you're gonna be straight you're gonna have enough shooting you're gonna have enough playmaking you're gonna have enough defensive it's just that simple now other things that's gonna be a determining factor is the physicals so your acceleration your vertical your stamina so you're gonna have an 82 acceleration you're gonna have a 70 speed honestly i would rather have be a little bit higher for my time being on the 80 but i've been on the 70 on my main build the whole year and i've been perfectly perfectly fine so you can make do with what it is but i will say at 80 speed compared to a 70 is a pretty pretty big difference i will say that now when it comes to the 93 dunk you're gonna be able to have content dunks but you're not just gonna have pro you're gonna have the elite too you have a lot more alley -oop packages you're gonna be able to have both contact alley -oop packages you're gonna be able to have gold posterizer you're gonna be able to have gold limits takeoff all in all very op for dunking you're gonna have rise up also at as a tier one badge which is also again very 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 good and i told y'all time and time again standing up may be more broken than driving up that just is what it is 80 layups so you can be able to have a large amount of layup options we went over the layups um we went over the layups as the last video finally i probably would give y'all another video like that towards the end of the year but for the most part I feel like I did a decent job with that. I, I feel like I could have changed things here and there for a lot of stuff. Like, the fault small probably should have been higher, but it just made sense in that tier for me. But it just is what it is. 71 mid-range, though, to be able to have 19 shooting. But for the most part, we really care about the three-pointer. Again, we're going to have silver it for pretty much all the tier threes but one thing that's really big about this build you're gonna have agent threes in tier two so one determining factor that may make this build still be above the build that comes next is going to be like the tier badges and stuff like that but attributes wise and badges wise i think the next one is better especially when you take into account animations but agent threes being a tier two is a very very big deal especially when you look at the fact that yeah now you have catch and shoot in tier three which i wouldn't even use so that's just really what it is. And then playmaking wise, you have an 80 pass accuracy. I'm telling y'all, if this build had one higher ball handle, it would actually probably easily, not debatably, the best build in the game. But the fact that it was an 89 was a very, very smart move by 2K. I'm gonna be honest, it will be by far the best builds in the game. Not close. But yeah, 80 pass accuracy with an 89 ball handle with an 80 speed ball. When you start going up to these 6, 8, 6, 9s, it's just making your builds a lot more versatile. When you can just see it from this standpoint that this this is probably the first build on the list where you have an 80 pass accuracy when you went for shorter builds that probably would need it a little bit more and you didn't have it so yeah but yeah 80 speed ball that's gonna allow you to have a lot more dribble styles 89 ball hitter gonna allow you to have hall of fame quick first step and a lot more dribble animations but not not more than the other ones that we've had on the list it's probably gonna be the least that we've had on the list so far 71 interior defense though that's gonna be a big deal we pretty much majority of the builds we showed so far has not had any 88 printed defense to be able to have an extra badge and to be able to play really good on ball defense with an 85 steal to be able to get a lot more pokes with 75 blocks to get a lot of blocks with 74 defensive rebound you should have no holes really on defense you really do everything not at the highest extent but to somewhat extent and gonna be really good at pretty much everything but mainly playing on ball defense on the perimeter then when it comes to physicals I already went over the speed acceleration that's gonna be the pretty much speed boost going alongside the high quick first step but it is gonna be the lowest so far on the list with a 58 strength which is really really important to me may not be important to you but to me it is but having it at a 58 is not gonna be that crazy of a difference so you could lower that if you wanted to 88 82 vertical to go alongside the dunk but also to go alongside the rebound and block rating and then with a 90 stamina take wise you're gonna end up with slasher sharp playmaker and lie down takeover very good options but you know what i'm gonna go with every single time limitless range and finishing moves and the build comes out as 72 shades of eddie jones dejounte murray paul george 
and here comes our ads completely a two-way inside out creator and for the build that has now surplanted dethroned the six eights of nba 2k23 so let's hop into it like and subscribe shooting guard handed number is really up to you but i'm gonna go right in four every single time so for the build that has dethroned it the six sevens i've been on my six seven lately and i'll be honest it's 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 pretty much one of the most fun builds in the game and it's one of the craziest most underrated do-it-all builds in the entire game so let's hop into it six seven one eighty two seven four four and body type is up to you now when it comes to the build, I, like I said, for all these builds, I tried to be able to have enough badges in every single category so that you didn't have to stress over what you're doing for the rest. So for the finishing, you're going to add three more to the finishing to be able to have a limitless takeoff gold. Now, that's going to leave you with one extra if you didn't hit no level 39s, but if you hit level 39 one extra time, you're going to have two extra. If you hit two times, three extra badges. So you're going to have badges to go in other categories if you want it. But... You can have a 67 close shot, 80 layup. That's going to allow you to have pretty much everything that you really could want or need. 86 driving dunk to be able to have like the content dunks and limitless takeoff, which is very, very important for these builds. And then when it comes to the three ball, you're going to have an 85. I don't want to gloss over the fact that we do have an 80 layup so you can have majority of the layup packages. You just don't have the top, top two layup packages. But you really could go for an 82 layup on this build. You could do that, but it's just going to be kind of tough. But yeah, you're going to have an 85 three ball with a 70 mid range and a 72 free throw. Those are all going to be very important, which has been majority of the build so far, 85, or build so far, but 85 three ball where you have pretty much all these badges, at least silver. But the thing that's the big difference between the, this build and the last one, last one has Agent 3 as a tier 2. This one has as a tier 3 where you pretty much going to have to core both of these if you want to be able to use both. So, yeah, or core one of those to be able to use both. Now, 70 mid-range. I tried to see if 71 would have got you an extra badge. It didn't. 72 free throw for the 5v5. 75 pass accuracy back to going here just to be able to have the bare minimum. But the big difference from this build and the last one is the 90 ball handle. Having a 90 plus ball handle is a huge, huge deal because it allows you to have so many of the best size of escape packages. And I'm going to be honest. Having one of the best size of escape packages is a it's a game changer, bro, in my opinion, especially when it comes to majority of the best ones have the LeBron hot back. But when it comes to the fact that if you look at the 6'6", you're going to be able to have the Trey Young. So either you're going with the 6'4", or 6'6", six to have the Trey Young, or you're going with this build if you don't care about the Trey Young. That's what I would say. That's what I would do. I personally don't care as much about the Trey Young this year. I think the Curry, when that comes out, the 6'6", six, six is going to go to a whole nother level. But until that... I'm going to be honest, these 6 sevens are just crazy. But 85 speed ball, there probably will be a dribble style that comes out very soon that's very, very broken for 85 plus or even 88 plus or even 92 plus. But right now, it's nothing really too crazy. For 92 plus, Stephen Curry is by far the best one. For 88 is Kobe Bryant. And then for 85, AI. And then 80 and 80, 75, those are really, we already know what those are for what they are. Now, interior defense, that is at a 69. You went at 68 to get an extra badge. We just went 69 to get it as high as possible. 88 printed defense, that's going to have you playing good on-ball defense, but also to get extra badges, but also to get the most important badges for printed defense. 85 steel, that's going to let you get more steel badges and also get more steals, which is going to be help you play better defense. 75 block, that's going to allow you to get more black badges and get more chase down blocks, but also play better defense. 74 defense rebound, that's going to help you get more badges. Also going to help you get more rebounds, but also play, well, get more rebounds. And not going to help you really play better defense. I guess it does help you like in possessions, but it doesn't really do much for defense besides rebounding. But yeah, when it comes to physical, 75 speed just because of the 85 speed of ball, but 84 acceleration, which is very decent. Nothing too crazy. Not on the 89, 91 spectrums, but right there in the middle. It's pretty much literally right there in the middle between what it would be if you were 6'9 and what it would be if you were 6'4. So, right there in the middle. So, then we did go max strength, higher strength than the last build, 75 vertical, because we're not going for, like, you know what I'm saying, those contacts. So, 80 plus is not really that big of a deal. I mean, you could debate having that higher because of the block rebound rating, but 75 is really all you really need for this build. You're not going to have to go too crazy in the 90 stamina. Like I said, if you want to make this build any better, you're going to have to finagle stuff to be able to have maybe an 82 layup, maybe to get a little bit higher vertical. But all in all, perfect you're not gonna need too much more on my build i have an 80 pass accuracy and a couple of different things because i made it for me 
But if we're going for strictly versatility and being a big guard, like I said we were doing for the shooting guards, this is going to be the perfect 6-7. When it comes to the take, slasher, sharp, playmaker, lock, like all the builds on the list so far. And we're going to go with limitless range and finish moves pretty much every single time if it's an 85 or below 3-point rating. If it is above that, mainly 89 to 92, then we may be going with spotted precision. But for these, definitely going to go with those every single time. And the build comes out, similar to shades of DeJounte Murray, Eddie Jones, Paul George. And if it comes out as one of the best names in the game, 2 a three-point shot creator. I like the two-way three-point playmaker more, but still, really, really good name and a really, really good build. And last, but certainly not least, for the finale, what else could it be? Let's go ahead and hop into it. Like and subscribe. If you ain't liked the video already, go ahead and like the video. Hopefully you like the video. Subscribe if you're new. Let's hop into it. Shungar, hand and numbers really up to you. When it comes to the build, we're gonna be six foot nine. Six foot nine. Y'all know how these builds go. These builds are just the best builds in the game when it comes to making versatility, when it comes to just being able to do everything, when it comes to just being as balanced as possible. Weight, we're going to be 194, 7 foot 6 wingspan, body type is up to you. Now, when it comes to this build, we went for pretty much everything. We went for having as high of a driving dunk as possible, 3 point rating as possible, playmaking as possible, interior defense, and physicals. Now, the reason why the 6 9s are still going to be really, really good regardless is because where I do think Kobe Bryant is the fastest, like, dribble style in the game um michael jordan being as fast as it is and arguably faster for a lot of people the fact that it can get it kind of does water down a lot now is it gonna be as fast as the other ones with it maybe not but it's still the fact that you can get it is still kind of crazy now it's only built on the list that does not have hall of fame quick for steps so that is a determining factor of the build but when it comes to the tiers now the tiers on the 6 8 are good they're good, but they're nowhere near in comparison to the tiers on the 6 9 So the 6 9s is where you really start to see the craziest tiers in the game. 6 11s are really crazy on the tiers, which we will be dropping a video on that very soon. I can't say too much. But yeah, uh, the tiers on the 6 9s are really determining factor for why these builds are just what they are. So when you look at the badges on a tier 1 and tier 2 perspective for finishing, Slithery, tier 1. One of the most underrated broken badges in the game that a lot of people don't really even get to use because majority of them, you're not on a 6'9". If you're not using this badge, you're pretty much just not on a 6'9". But on 6'9", you're able to easily have it as a tier 1 badge. Now, when you were looking to try to have posterizer, limitless takeoff, and slowly finisher in your tier 3, now you can use these two badges as 9, not 10, 9 to be able to get towards your posterizer so that's nine you could use that leftover badge as an acrobat maybe you want to go for fearless finisher maybe you want to go for aerial wizard maybe you want to go for bat down punisher drop step it doesn't really matter it's really on you but at the end of the day you're able to have these two badges significantly easier and one of the most broken badges in the game as a tier two is just ridiculous it's just ridiculous and then you have gold posterizer all the same with a 96 driving dunk you're gonna be really crazy going alongside an 80 layup to have a lot of layup packages with a 68 dunk and a 60 close shot you're gonna be really hooping i'm gonna just say that 83 ball now i went over this time and time again the difference between an 83 ball and a 92 three ball is not that big of a difference i'm gonna be honest when it comes to just greening wide open and open shots you're gonna be perfectly fine but when it comes to like uh, not open i'm gonna say open to like any contest just gonna be significantly easier to green those contested shots because the timing impact is gonna be a lot easier on a higher three-point rating build timing impact i've went over this time and time again that's going to be pretty much based off your three-point rating and your jump shot so the timing impact is going to be how your jump shot timing changes across the different things well when it comes to stamina and contest so i want y'all to understand you're going to be able to green a lot more shots contested when it comes to having a higher three-point rating but having a difference of two is not going to be that significant really 92 and 89 is going to be where you see a huge difference but 85 to 83 you should be in a very similar range just like 89 and 92 are in a similar range for how easy it is to shoot but another aspect is the badges so where the biggest difference why the 85 three ball is going to be better than the 83 is because you're going to have silver limitless but at an 83, you're still gonna have a silver agent three, you're still gonna have silver blinders and dead eye, gold, like all these other badges besides mini magician. So at the end of the day, it's not that big of a difference, but it is a big difference. You know what I'm saying? It is a big difference. At the end of the day, it's not, but it is. It's not, but it is. But you're gonna have a 75 free throw. That's for people to play 5v5. I'm gonna be honest with you. If you wanna have an extra badge, you can go 71 mid-range though. That's really on you, how you wanna do that. When it comes to pass accuracy, I did go for 80 pass accuracy. You could lower that to a 75 and just be able to have more in other aspects, but it's not 
necessary at all in any way, shape, or form. I just want to make sure that's known. 87 ball handle to be have like gold quicker step, gold clamp breaker, gold unpluckable, gold vice grip. Pretty much all these badges you see gold in playmaking, those are pretty much based off a of ball handle or pass accuracy. So your ball, that's pretty much just to be able to have that as high as possible, but you could go 75. That's not gonna make that big of a difference going a difference of one. I just want to make sure that's known. Um, you could probably lower this and get one extra like that too, and you'll be able to have 18. So if you want to do it like that, you can. It's not gonna make a difference on badges regardless. So it's really on you what you want to do. So if you want to go for 76 to be a little bit faster after your speed boost, you can do that. But I'll probably do it like that. Now, when it comes to the interior defense, 76 that's gonna help you get extra badge. 88 extra badge. 85 extra badge. I didn't even know that. I'm gonna be honest. I, I honestly didn't know that. But yeah, 75 block doesn't do anything but get you more block. But 75, 33 extra badge. So all in all, pretty much everything on the interior defense or not deep interior defense, but defensive rebound, pretty much gonna get you extra badge. But at the same time, interior defense gonna be able to play a lot better hands up defense with that. Perimeter defense that's gonna help you play on ball defense with that and get a lot of these badges that you really want for it. Perimeter defense still gonna be able to get a lot more pokes, a lot more bump steals with that, but also gonna get you a lot better badges. Now, again, when it comes to the tiers of these badges, the only badge category that kind of gets trolled is really the playmaking because now you have to have clamp breaker and pluckable where it comes to like a 6-6 six, six, i think a 6-6 six, six, the 6-6 six, six and 6-4 six, they have unpluckable as a tier 2 i think both of them i think even a 6-6 six, six has that. i know the 6-4 does but i think the 6-6 six, six does too now other badges that kind of do get trolled vice group gets trolled because it's in tier 2 now which you don't really want to have to pay that much for i'm gonna be honest and needle threader that is also a tier 2 instead of it being 2 it's now 4 instead of this being 3 it's now 5 so those two badges do kind of get trolled i will say that but I will say the playmaking, you'll take that in with the playmaking in comparison to the defensive rebound where you're pretty much getting all the badges that you really need in the first two tiers of the badges for both finishing and defensive. The only one that you're really worrying about on finishing is posterizer. But yeah, it's just really what it is. And you even get agent threes as a tier two as well. So like one category for three categories getting really some of the best badges in the game way earlier. We'll take that hit. It's just that simple. We'll take that hit. But yeah, um, you're going to get chase down blocks on this build. You're going to be able to rebound on this build, all in all. But speed, you're going to be able to have enough speed. You get gym right alongside it, you're going to have an 80 speed. I'm telling y'all that 80 speed is a significant difference. It is. 80 acceleration, you could have got an 81, but I didn't really think that was going to make too big of a difference. So we could be able to have everything else. You would have to lower your weight, though, to be able to have 81. But again, we didn't make that change because it wasn't going to be that significant of a difference 74 strength if you want to have bully on the build you can have it with that but that's not why we did that we just want to have our strength as high as possible because i'm gonna be honest with you on my build with high strength i play significantly better defense on that build than any of my other builds just like if on my big man build just like on my lockdown build it just plays better defense it's facts so yeah i think having bumps and be able to blow by people with high strength is very important so if you want to play that play style, you can. But if you don't want to play that play style, there also that also is an option for you when you do have strength. You don't have to play that play style, but these are just things that actually add to the build in ways you can play when you go for all these different things and factors on your build. 82 vertical to go alongside the drop and dunk and to be able to get more blocks and rebounds. Then when it comes to 90 stamina, that's going to be what it is then when it comes to takeovers again slasher sharp playmaker and live we've had pretty much the same options every single time but yeah we are gonna go to limitless range and finishing moves the only times i'm pretty much gonna ever start changing it up is when i get to like that 89 or 92 three ball uh, i didn't really go over that but yeah it does really determine what takeover i end up going with but yeah build wise we do go limitless range and finishing moves build comes out as a two-way inside out score 72 shades of eddie jones paul george and kelly Oubre. but yeah that's going to be the five best shooting guard builds in nba 2k23 if y'all understood what i was really going for hopefully you really do understand that these are the best shooting guard builds in the game for my opinion of what a shooting guard is supposed to be so what i was going for big guards that are just versatile not just the best big guard builds possible but just versatility as well as being a big guard and that's what i think a shooting guard is now when we go for the small force not gonna really be anything but just versatility and we're gonna be way more versatile on the small force so if y'all are ready for that like the video subscribe if you're new without further ado man if you haven't already turn on notifications share the video to anybody you think would enjoy or help season four is right around the corner like i said i will be streaming 
very soon hitting level 40. But if you haven't already, follow the Twitch. I'll be going crazy playing Fight Night, all type of different games. Just follow the Twitch. It's facts. Hopefully, you've been subscribed to the backups. I've been going crazy. I've been going crazy on the backups. So hopefully, y'all boys subscribe. Like I told y'all, after December, we slowing down on the uploads. I do appreciate all y'all boys for showing so much support. Y'all been going so crazy. Without further ado, man, it's your boy Fist. Yeah, I do, man. Tell him to bring me my money. Yeah!